always an emphasis for us, but uh, certainly give recognition to, to a group that does it extremely well. And secondly, with Devontae, uh, and earned up uh, NFC Offensive Player of the Month. Uh, salute to him. And uh, for offense, you know, one award by one is shared by all. And that's, I guess, the right message for, for the whole group. That will open it up to uh, some injury updates uh, regarding practice today. We're going to hold uh, William Moore and uh, Hankerson and Nick Williams as well today. All three of them to practice. That will open it up. Uh, yeah, Coach, could you talk about the line and the work they've put in uh, to help Devontae uh, here <laughs> over the stretch? Anytime the, uh, you know, a running back you know, has success, there's, you know, lots of people that are affected. And for us, it's, it's the entire offense. Uh, how the, the receivers come off the ball, the, the action that Mac takes on the keepers, and then specifically the offensive line. Mm -hmm. The communication that has to take place when we run all the different wide zone plays and each week, you know, the ways we want new formations to run it. Uh, it's a real factor, and uh, one you know, for those guys, you can see that 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 group just keep getting closer and closer uh, every game we play. Is Justin Hardy ready to go? Uh, you getting kind of got a couple receivers down right now. If he's yeah, asked yeah. for the opportunity, he's uh, he's really ready. Uh, I think I've talked about um, Justin before mm -hmm. and all the work that he's done to prepare himself. So if the opportunity comes around, I know he's ready. Mm -hmm. And uh, Weems is the op is he option for you? Weems is as well. Yes. Yeah, we, fortunately for us, we've got a really Deep stable at receiver of guys who uh, are absolutely ready to go. And I just got off the chat, and a lot of the fans were still asked. Just wanted to see if we had an update on Devin. I know it's a while before he even gets close to back, but uh, just didn't get any update on him. Yeah, we reset the uh, you know the time clock basically on him to, to have his toe heal, and went back in the boot. He's out of the boot doing the exercise, and he starts the on field running soon. So all steps are moving in the right direction for him. He's working extremely hard to get back. He's going to be a factor for us, and for him to be, you know, you know, soon enough he'll be back at full strength and going. We don't have him out of practice yet, but that comes in a few more weeks. Defensively, what challenge will Tampa present, particularly they're running a game? The number one challenge is the explosive plays that their team is able to, you know, create. They have, uh, you know, in the run game, the screen game, the shots down the field. The run game, it's it's a combination of things, uh, depending on which package is in. But the runner, the yards that's gained after contact, the toughness that he displays. That, to me, is one of the biggest factors in the game, and that opens up some of the play-action pass and the shots down the field. So it's, it's the whole thing in terms of the, you know, the balance they're having between the run and the pass game. At your cut, the, what, the game they came off with when they had the big lead and lost it, you worry about that where, you know, gets in players' mentality, oh, you know. No, for us, we don't, and uh, that's life in the NFL where it's uh, just as hard as you can imagine every time and where teams come back and get ahead and close games and two-minute the number of two-minute you know, situations that come up for us throughout the season just in you know, seven games so far, uh, it's upwards of 19 or so. So it's a lot. And uh, it's one that we work at really hard. We did that again today. It's part of our walkthrough. It's part of our practice. It's part of our game, you know, the situation stuff that we just want to spend so much time on. Anybody else? Yeah, Coach, uh, just a couple of matchups sure. here. Donovan Smith and Vic Beasley. I just had a couple of matchups I was looking at. How does that one look? And how's Donovan playing for them? I think it's the size attack. and length of, of Donovan. He's a big guy. And uh, so that matchup is going to be a terrific one. Two guys who are going to really battle for it. For us, as pass rushers, the thing we want to emphasize more than anything is the finish. The quarterback hits are mm -hmm. there, and the sacks aren't. And so what's the difference between a sack to a quarterback hit? It could be that much. So that extra little finish, the extra point of the move, the extra – you know, part of the blitz to finish, that's the stuff that we can improve on, and that's where I'm so excited about where I think we can go. If we can get this finish in our rush this much better, those sacks will come because the hits are there, mm -hmm. the sacks aren't. And uh, um, McCoy, he's a force inside for the interior guys. How they? Uh, yeah, a real challenge for sure. It's the quickness off the ball, and uh, as a pass rusher, he can beat you to the punch. Um, in the run game, he's disruptive, especially when he's on the move. So he's a factor. We know exactly the style that he loves to play and a lot of respect for him and 